It's weight off our shoulders that the Queen's finally free. Hey, but welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm Slayer Matheson. Last time, we fought N and freed the Queen of Kevis. And this time, we continue on our trek through Origin. Couple of beep boop bops. And get the door opened on up. Uh, I do apologize if I sound a little bit weird in this episode and probably the next couple. Um, I'm still recovering from a little bit of dental surgery. Um, I, I can talk fine, I think, but it's just, it's a little bit weird. Very unfortunate that all this happened, you know, right at the end. It sure would have, uh, and, where, where, was, where was I saying? Um, we'll fight these, these folks here. Um, shoot, I entirely lost what I was saying. Um, right, it was unfortunate that it happened, you know, at the very end of the game, but, hey, what can you do, really? Sometimes life do be like that, though. But we can keep fighting our way through the Mobius feathers over yonder. And I mean, it's not too difficult to fight these guys, really. They're kind of on the... Well, these are on the weak side. Oh! That does remind me of something. Um... Something that I didn't realize until after I finished my last recording session. Um, when I. Actually, I think it was a little bit after when I was getting thumbnails. Uh, or, get, not thumbnails, uh, end slate pictures. That there's a. So I remember. Remember when we, when we fought Shania? And I was like, oh, we're gonna. I'm gonna go into hard difficulty because I wanna talk about this fight a little bit. And, you know, it's a, it's a big, important fight, but, uh, and I, I do now remember saying, oh, it's gonna be, you know, I'm gonna end up forgetting at some point. That's exactly what happened. Uh, yeah, we've been on hard difficulty for all of Origin, and I did not even realize. Um, at this point, I might as well keep it, but, like... Yeah. Oh, is this? Is this still the same area? Okay. Because I know there is a... There's a song that... They they switch up um, Origin Depths and just Origin in general. I think it's Origin Interior Origin Depths. Um, we could do with some food. Because uh, what I use for the End Slate music is a... I think it's a Game Ripped version. So there's a little bit different... Um, a little bit different. The the official OST combines a couple songs that are split up in this. Uh, it's not usually that big of a deal. Uh, for example, there is uh, they they like they have parts where it's like part one uh, or the like the beginning of a Mobius bat of the Mobius battle is a separate theme. Uh, they have all of the the offseer tunes are in this game ripped version and i think origin interior is just split between is just the one song in the ost but there's origin interior origin depths as well and i do not remember if the depths are a location i don't think they are but still we can beat boop bop once again Worst part about all of the is this a, it's probably a unique monster, isn't it? Uh, no, just an elite. Can we grab the container without fighting? I think so. We can. And we are full up on ultra pure gemstones. Got the 
Okay, I think we are in origin depths right now, because I believe this part of the song is origin depths. Music changes a little bit. It's not too much. It gets a little bit more, like, fanfaric, a little bit more symphonic, I guess. I'm not good at describing words. Which is unfortunate, because I like creative writing, so being bad at describing things doesn't really help with that. Um, Mijia Flock. Okay, I think that's just a circle. And we did. That's fine. We had a, yeah. And it is just a loop there. Didn't quite remember. But yeah, a lot of these enemies are relatively easy to avoid, and of course, if you want to just run past enemies, uh, that's not really a issue. Just be with... What? I don't... Couldn't really hear you, but that's why we have the subtitles. That is one thing that I do, again, a little bit about the game. I kind of wish the audio balancing was a bit better because if we look at the audio settings, you know, everything's at normal, but it's, yeah. Everything is their base levels, everything is equal, but a lot of the times the the voice is a little bit too quiet. Uh, it's especially prevalent. Probably. Uh, it's especially evident when Zed is talking. Uh, we have the hollow ones over there. Group of three unique monsters. Uh, it's especially evident when Zed's talking just because he's a lot quieter with his delivery of stuff. Um, not more reserved. I mean, it fits the character, but he it real it ends up leading to a lot of times you can't really hear the dialogue at base levels, which is kind of a shame. Um, but again, what can you really do? Get on up that hangar. Uh, I probably could. Ah, yeah, I can sneak in and grab that now. Things that a lot of these enemies are quite symmetrical. Alright, well. And because I was trying to press A to get the container open, I already used Saber Smash. Ah, well. Bonk, bonk. Uh, just a blaze, I guess. I would really like if our tanks would draw the aggro off me. Okay, let's. Get in the regen field. Is rather useful. These enemies are very symmetrical. At times a little difficult to tell exactly where you are. I'll save the saber strike for when we get them break topple launch. I always want to default to Break Topple Days because of... Well, that's what it was in Xenoblade 1, but I was thinking it just rolls off the tongue a little bit better, so... Do we have anyone able to launch? Yes, we do. Very nice. You know, like, we're already seeing that we, you know, we're on hard right now difficulty, and we're all we're still doing really well for ourselves right now. We can clear you out. Gets us. Oh, wait, that wasn't even a unique monster. I was like, oh, we're gonna get some orange shards. No. No, that was just to get to 
ten thousand bucks that aren't really useful for anything. I do kind of wish money was a little bit more useful overall in this game. You just end up with so much money and not much to spend it on. Because, I mean, most of your drops are going to be, you know, your, your drops are accessories that you mostly get from having, uh, from beating monsters, regardless of their difficulty. Uh, your best equipment is going to be from unique monsters or from the Legacy of the Seven. And beyond that, like, you don't need to... Like, I think having a bunch of money was a bit more fine in Xenoblade 2. Because... I mean, you had... You had core chips to buy. You had... Um... Ox core equipment. Well, ox cores you could really sell as well. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be through this way. Probably not. Is there a landmark over here? Yes. That's the only reason I went back. And a level 86 unique monster that we can definitely not take out. Oh. Level 69 unique monster and pressing Raphael. Um, not sure. I think beyond that door is another long boss fight. Not nearly as important as N. Um, honestly, I would probably consider that more of a mini. Uh, this upcoming one, if it's what I think it is, I consider it more of a mini boss rather than a full boss. Can we get any toppling in? Probably not. No, it doesn't look like it. We're definitely gonna need a chain attack in this fight. And, I mean, I think we'll, we'll be fine with this. We're not gonna get terribly much damage. Um, that's kind of the big thing with... The big thing, again, with hard difficulty, it just makes everything really, really spongy, and... Part of that comes with the fact that your chain attacks just don't do nearly as much um, because they lower the lower the rate, uh, the uh, damage multiplier. I think so. Damage ratio. I think it's damage ratio. Called. Yeah, that. I mean, that would me being on hard does also explain why I was like, wow, we're getting really low numbers. Now, well, you know, that'd be. Yeah. Can we launch? Yes, we can. Nice smash in there. And pop the chain attack. Lucas Storm, always good to lead off with. We can have... Yeah. I think Hammerhead's probably our best bet. Get a little bit of a side bonus going. Then we can pop... Can we? Probably can. Yeah. Get those, and... I think I actually want to get Uni up. Which would... I think Shockwave would be our best. And we do miss out. Um, maybe with Noah we would have gotten to a Bravo. We do get Senna back up, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's go Noah. He can lead things off with a break. Gets him pretty good in there. You can try breaking again with Tyon. And once again, side strike with Senna. 173 for a Bravo. Brave Assault gets us some good damage in. These guys are tanky as hell. Gets us set up back up, which is pretty nice. 
Let's go with lands, I guess. Yeah. You go there. Sadly, that does top us off a little bit. Um, of these, I think Advanced Cooldown would actually be our best. Nothing great. I mean, we do get the guaranteed Bravo at the very least. But would have liked for a little bit higher. Gets us. Okay, Senna back up. That is pretty nice. Uh, this is our last one. So, Senna it is. That's so how we do this one. Is we have Uni Attack first. Then we have Tie On. We can just try to see if we can break. Nope. No dice there. And we actually get an amazing, which I was not expecting. Five fourteen. That's fine. And yeah, that's our best bet. We go there. We go with see if we can get the break nope no D say there and then for lands doesn't really matter which one we go for I don't think we're not getting much damage anyways now I actually don't know if power charge activates on the or uh, the chain orders, or Boros orders, or the, the final fights. The completion bonuses. Probably not. Because they aren't arts, but... So, wow, this guy has a lot of health. How much do we do? Eh, yeah, 765. That's not terrible, I suppose. That strike there. And I'm actually kinda surprised that Land Senna hasn't drawn the aggro. But oh well. Now that they're back up. Just strike you down. And I'm actually gonna wait for Origin Blade. I actually remembered that it exists this time. Alright. Gonna be cautious and just wait for it. There we are. I don't have 38k just with that. Not bad at all. And he does have everything down for, I think it's 20 seconds. It's enraged already, which is potentially a problem, but I don't think it's really too big of a deal. Like, we should be fine yet. It'd be really nice if we could break topple days, or break, uh, break topple launch smash, but alas, we cannot. Same deal as before. We hit with you. We hit with you. It's to 89. And I am actually gonna see it. Okay, yeah, no. Definitely was the better idea to go for Noah on that first one. Gets us an immediate Bravo. And 
and not bad there. Gets us both of our attackers back up. That's not bad at all as well. If we go with Noah to start, then we are fine to attack with Senna first. We can have Tyon see if we can break, which we cannot. I think Noah has a break art, right? Yeah. He has Tri Slash in his back pocket. He's up to a 190 Bravo. As we can Brave Assault in. Gets us Senna back up, which is nice and fine. Let's get lands going. Let's go with... Yeah, see if we can do anything there, which we can't. Unfortunately. Then we can, I guess, just go with there. Uh, doesn't really get us... What, we need 114? Which we might be able to... Nope. Just 101. It was an awkward range where we wouldn't be able to get anything. But it does get a Senna back up. So... Our best bet would actually be those... Uh, Riku Manana. Then Senna. Gets Power Charge and the plus 25, which does get us into an amazing. I think that was our only way to get into an amazing. And pretty good damage there. 517 heading into the Ouroboros order. We start off seeing if we can break once again, which we can't. We then go with... Actually think that we would have a little bit more damage if we went for our B option, but oh well. Oh well. And then finally Senna once again. Just bash him good. Uh, I think we would have gotten a little bit of a bonus for using Noah since it was part of his Ouroboros order. Uh, well, Neo is technically, but it's the same deal. But I don't think it was enough to warrant not having Senna go for it. Uh, maybe we would have given the other bonuses, but still. 891k there. Uh, head behind so we can get the back attack bonus in. Get our side crit right in. Get our, nope, no break-in, unfortunately. Um, I'll wait for the Saber Strike for our next cross-impact, I think. Or, other way, other way around. Go with that, then the Saber Strike, then Revolution Edge. Swap around. Can at least break with Phantom Slash, which is not bad. And let's do that. Wait for Origin Blade to pop up. Big old damage. I think Mio, yeah, Mio does have a memory locket. And surprisingly, I actually haven't died as Noah yet, I don't think. I might have once. But we've just been able to keep the aggro off of us. Uh, this is a pretty good party comp. Anytime when you have the, uh, at, you know, 2-2-2 two, two, two for your Ouroboros members, that's just a good thing to have. But, you know. And of course, whatever hero you have. Riku Manana, definitely not the best heroes out there. But again, I think that they're the only ones that make any sort of story sense. Um, 
as in they don't not make sense. Rather than, like, proper making sense with the story. No need to- yeah. No need to chain attack again. I guess it's defense mastery. Uh, is nobody gonna praise me? And I apparently misread that the entire time. It was Rafael, not Raphael. Defense mastery uh, reduces damage dealt. So we've gotten the attack and defense mastery. Um, that's just, yeah, saying to get 10 colonies unlocked. Very easy to get on those. But, with all of that dealt with, that'll do it for this time, and next time, we continue on our way through. But until then, see you guys later!